All right, number 10, um, I'm not going to actually have you do this one, but I want you to see it. Um, this one is not a traditional proof, but it wanted us to uh, prove the identity and it says to verify you're gonna work each side separately so you obtain the same expression. So normally when you do a proof, you work on the left and get it to equal the right or vice versa. You can start on the right and get it to equal the left. But this one wants you to work on both and arrive at the same result. So I've done this and I just went ahead and put the answers in but I'm just going to explain it to you you're not actually going to have to do this one very abstract very you know out of the norm so I just want you to see it so you start with this expression here and we rewrite tan in terms of sine and cosine so this is your angle so you have sine of this angle divided by cosine of this angle that's what I've done here sine of this uh, theta plus phi these are the Greek symbols theta and phi over 2 and then cosine of theta plus phi over 2 so that's just rewriting uh, tangent these two terms say the same so it just says apply basic identity and then from there the next thing we do is we rewrite this uh, sum to product is the uh, the trig cheat sheet section that you're going to look at sum to product uh, difference to product I think it just says sum so sum to product rewrites sine theta and it says alpha in, in our trig cheat sheet it says alpha minus sine of beta but here we have theta and phi so it rewrites as two times cosine and then times uh, sine here we go here with minus okay with the minus sign in the middle it shows plus on the first one minus on the second one so this is how it rewrites then you when you distribute uh, this cosine of theta plus phi over 2 is going to cancel out the cosine of theta plus phi over 2 and you're going to end up with this 2 stays this sign of plus this angle and minus this angle so that's what you get here and it just says cancel out common factors alright so this is what you end up with on the left side once you've simplified as far as you can go so from here um, we would just be backtracking if we tried to do a product to sum or, or whatnot <clears throat> so then it says now starting on the right side so here's the right side we're going to do the same process change this to uh, sine over cosine which is what we did left that alone then we use the sum formula to rewrite this part as a product sum to product formula and then the same thing happens cosine will divide out the cosine form and we'll be left with sine sine this is plus this is minus and then we have two times that so this side ends up being the exact same thing after you cancel out common factors uh, with the two sine uh, phi plus theta plus phi over two sine of theta minus phi over 2 and the same thing here 2 sine phi plus uh, theta plus phi over 2 sine of phi theta minus phi over 2 so um, this is how that one would work again you're not going to have to uh, do anything like this if it shows up on the test then um, I will credit you for that uh, this is not the norm it's just wanting you to uh, go through the, that process um, but normally you would work right side and get it to equal to the left but there's no uh, formula to come up with this this tangent is just a, a starting point so anyway this is that problem here